Today we are going to look at the top five VHS effects that I like to use in my edits and that I tell people to use in my edits. Um, I think it's really cool because um, when you have like a digital look, it's it's an amazing thing to have. You know, like I think it's really cool because even though we could get crisp photos, 4K, 8K, we're still trying to get that old camcorder look. And I think that's that's a cool thing because it shows that analog is not going to go away. And you 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 already know through looking through all of this that there's so many effects here. It's it's almost difficult to to really pick something, right? Because there's there's way too many choices to make. And so what I like to do is this. Usually when you're getting a VHS look, you could look at the TV section, the glitch section, and sometimes the star section, obviously you can look at a bunch more, but basically you are, you are going to be layering these effects because if you put one effect it's cool, but if you start putting different effects on and adding, adding them and moving them around, it actually is a, is a cool thing to do. So the first effect that I like to do is just add a seventies effect. So it's called 70s, and let's say I go here. As you can see, I have these, is these slight glitches. And even though I have two clips, it actually naturally flows into the next one. Then I could have another one where I have a jump. So if I look at this jump, I could put this on top. So this is the second one. This is a jump. And usually what I do for a jump is that I don't put it for the whole thing. I actually just, I like to scatter them just randomly. So let's say here, I could scatter, I could scatter it here. Make this one shorter. That one is almost like a transition. Make this one shorter. And so now, I'm able to have these jumps that go with the 70s look. Even though they're two totally different filters, they work very well together. And that's how you get really good effects. You wanna make sure that you're layering stuff because I'm telling you, sooner or later, a lot of these effects or the tools that you are using in CapCut, they might go away because CapCut is getting more popular by the day and you're not going to be able to use some of these effects sooner or later some of them might might permanently be under the paywall and you might not want to pay um so keep that in mind when you are doing this i suggest uh, investing you know because all you're doing you're probably only going to pay like five twenty bucks you might as well pay for it but right now it's free so that's why it's great to use these effects because these effects are very well made. They're pretty simple. As you can see, there's only one option for this jump and that's how fast you want it. Um, and then for this one, you you also have speed. You know, it's pretty intuitive. Uh, so those are, the, those are the first two. The second one is, uh, the, the third one is a little bit corny, um, but I, I like it because it kind of reminds me of uh, iCarly. So right over here, as you can see, most of these, most of these are, are pretty cool. Most of these are pretty cool. And they kind of remind me of iCarly. But out of all of these, the one that I like is, uh, I like this one, this kind of recorder over here. Cause it reminds me of, uh, a real VHS tape. Um, it does say source iPhone, which I don't like, but I think it makes sense considering that, you know, most people are using their phones, so it's more relatable to use to use this. Um, if you don't like that, you could you could also just use use this one. So this one is called D V. And as you can see it just looks like that. And it's really cool because 
that looks very similar to something my grandpa had. <laughs> I call him grandpa. He wasn't my grandpa. But I remember this old guy showing me like this video and it was on like the smallest camcorder. And it, it basically looked like this when he was showing me on the camera. So I think that is really cool to have something like this because you're able to bring nostalgia to your audience. Um, and as you can see, even, even, even with this, you could have the jumps and the jumps look pretty natural. You also have jitters here. So you could, you could also add jitters. And let's say I put jitters. See, so everything here, nothing looks out of place here. Everything looks like it's supposed to be that they all work together and it's supposed to be that way. Now, I could also do something a little bit different. So I could add dreamland. Let's, and you could, we could see how this looks. Right, I could add Dreamland, and now it almost gives me like a like a music video vibe. All right, and I could click here. I could go to speed, curve, and then I could see this, and then go from there. So if I want. So I could do, I could do different things like that. And I could talk about this in another video. But yeah, those are the top five VHS that I like to use. Um, it's really fun working with these effects. I'm telling you, you're looking at these videos, but almost all the time, you will find what you're looking for by just playing around and having fun. CapCut is a playground use it have fun with it because there's other video editors that are amazing that create great documentary work but they're not gonna have the easeability the accessibility that CapCut does because it's made for everybody not just a professional and so i will make another video of this if that's something that you want but really i want you to have fun i want you to play along with it I want you to use all the different effects, um, combine them together like what I'm doing here because you never know, right? Like you see stuff like this, like it looks like it's not supposed to work together and yet it can because you make it work, you know? So, so have fun with it. Um, and if you do have any cool work, I mean, put it in the comments below. I would love to see... I would love to see like what you do and go go from there. See, look at that. It's amazing. All right, that's all I have for now. Um, subscribe if you if you want. <laughs> I I don't care. I'm gonna keep making these videos. Um, and let me know if you have any other questions or you want a tutorial, and I'll be gladly to make it.